we're going to look at finding an inverse function value. And again, to get here, you click on the uh, notebook and then homework, and we're in 5.2 right here. So we're going to use this inverse function notation. There's another way to solve this. If you want to, you can find the actual inverse function, which we did have to do on some of these other problems. If you find the inverse function, it's two steps, swap X and Y, solve for Y. I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm just going to flip this around using the inverse function notation. So what we're given is F inverse of negative one. So we're basically given this starting situation. The only difference is negative one is going to fill in for Y. And then I'll just copy down the X. Now I use the triple equal sign to compare equations and say that two equations are the same. And what's happening between these two equations here is the function is moving from one side to the other. The way it does that is it moves as its inverse. So we're starting out with this f inverse of y. You can move the function to the other side, but when you do so, it becomes the inverse. Or well, in this case, the inverse inverse is the original. The inverse of the inverse, they undo each other. So let's go ahead and write the equivalent. If I move the function to the other side, I have negative one equals regular f of x. And we have f of x already, it's at the top. It's x plus five divided by x plus nine. And now we have a regular algebra problem to solve. And I like to solve these by eliminating the fraction. So we're gonna multiply by the denominator and we'll just do that down below. And we're distributing it to both sides here and here. And on the left side, we're gonna get negative one times X plus nine. The right side is going to cancel the denominator. That was the entire reason we did this. And you're just left with the x plus 5. Distribute negative 1. Combine like terms. This is just a linear equation here. And I would add the x to the other side. You got 2x. Subtract your 5. And minus 9 minus 5 is minus 14. Divide by 2, and that's your answer. And again, if you want to, you can definitely find the inverse function. It's a useful skill to have. You're gonna, if you do that, you're gonna find that you basically do almost the identical algebra that you did here. The only difference is, instead of having negative one, you're gonna have a y, and you're gonna solve for x. And that's basically what you do to find the inverse. You do swap letters, but it's pretty much all the same algebra steps.